Down in the canyons, 2006, I'm down there fascinated by what I like to think of the natural selection of footwear in human culture. I meet Manuel Luna. Manuel Luna is an inspiration to me. And the people in the canyons are an inspiration to me. They're a palpable, real living example of people who went into the mountains and went into the canyons and preserved a sort of way of life by being authentic to their calling. The day before the race in Born to Run, Manuel Luna and I are hanging out in a town square in Rique. Well, kind of a town square. A tiny little shop, tienda, that's selling, literally one of its objects is selling used tires. One of my purposes to be down there was to actually get a pair of these sandals, learn more about them. In my broken Spanish, and I was able to uh, convince Manuel to uh, teach me how to make a pair. We bought a slab of uh, used tire. It was the most expensive piece in the shop. And we proceeded to cut out a sandal. Now, in that particular setting, the day before the race, felt like it was gonna be an awesome epic. He cut out that tire. We put some leather laces in it. He taught me how to strap it on my foot. And it's from that moment, if you look at that photo, photo says it all. I'm sitting there with a banana. I found that to be ironic. It almost looks like the moon in our logo. As Manuel is squatted over, beginning to cut the slab of the first sole of what would become Luna sandals. And I look at that cut when he's placing that knife and it's going through that material. That cut literally has followed through to every single sandal we make. The energy, the powerful happens at that moment. I started wearing those sandals that day, brought them back to LA, started running in them. The, the next year, 2007, I went down to the canyons and ran in the first, my own made by myself pair of Luna sandals. I had some thin rubber. I brought some of that down to give to the, some of the natives and they were not interested in the thin stuff at all. That was uh, my first introduction to the idea that Tarumara like portable ground, not necessarily the thinnest. If you want thin, just go barefoot. But when you need a sandal, you might need something rugged. So that photo really spells it all. It's an honor to be able to have that photo and have that memory because it continues to resonate, continues to speak to, to us as a company, as a small family, as a small tribe of people keeping this dream alive. And it's going to be a story that uh, people will love from, from, for many years to come.